Welcome to MicroStrategy Blog. This is Jeremy. Today I'm going to show you how to make an intelligent cube and how to make a report off of intel an intelligent cube as well as how to schedule when that cube gets refreshed. Now the reason we make intelligent cubes is because it, what it does is it caches all the information and this is especially good for reports if you're going to be um, say a report that will always show you what happened yesterday or over the last week if multiple people use that report, you don't necessarily want to set it up uh, in such a way that it's it's querying the data warehouse every single time somebody pulls this report. So what we do is we actually build an intelligent cube that pre-renders all the information and uh, and caches it for us. So there's two ways that you can make an intelligent cube. Uh, the first way is you know you just do a um, create a new item. Uh, by clicking on the down arrow in the upper left of the desktop underneath file and you can do intelligent cube the other way is um, let's go for instance under report now this is a, a always in the microstrategy tutorial under public objects report subject areas and then customer analysis I'm going to look at this customer income analysis and so we're actually going to run this document be, or run this report because it's always good to see the data that you are going to be dealing with if, if you uh, want to make an intelligent cube so we can see what this information looks like and all the different elements. We have year, region, income, bracket. So when we go back into design mode, one of the things that it'll let us do underneath the data option on the top uh, drop-down menu is intelligent cube option. And we can actually re convert this report to an intelligent cube, which we're going to go ahead and do. And now you can see that it's an intelligent cube for, uh, because of this little blue cube in the, in the corner. So let's just go ahead and save and close that. And we'll just save. So now you can see cube converted from customer income analysis. And if we create a report, if you right click on that cube, it'll actually let you create a report from it. When you say create report, we haven't actually run the cube yet. So it gives us this warning saying it hasn't been published. So it must be published before the report can execute. So it'll go ahead and take us into this report, but there's nothing, we won't be able to view anything yet. So what we're going to do is right click on that cube and we're actually going to run it. So now it's running the intelligent cube. You can see the execution in the lower uh, right hand corner. Now when this intelligent cube is complete, it's not actually going to display the information because it's all behind the scenes. So now it's done. It says the data has been published. We're good. So we'll go ahead and close it. Now we can right click and create a report from it and the report editor comes up fine and then you just pick those elements that you want. So say we want year and revenue and run and you'll see it renders near instantly. So there's all the information and then all the different cross sections that you would want as uh, like a normal OLAP report. You, you can see all those pieces. So we can tell that it's built off of a cube for two reasons. One in the lower right it actually says OLAP uh, even though all everything is uh, displayed. Um, and then when you look in your report objects, you'll notice it doesn't have your traditional object browser. And by traditional object browser, let's just go and create a new report just so you can see what I'm talking about. So we'll create a blank report. And you can see this is what a traditional object browser would have. The limitation of cubes is that you can only work within what's defined within the cube. You can't add additional elements. Say you wanted to add customer to this, you can't do it within a cube report. This is exactly what you need You need to know before you put this together. So, you know what, let's just go ahead and save and close this. And we're going to just call this uh, uh, customer income analysis. And then I'm going to add from cube. Okay, now say this is a daily report. Well, there's a couple ways that we can set this up. We can actually say, all right, since we know that this report's going to be daily, if you right click on the cube, we can schedule when we refresh that cube. Now, underneath the, uh, ad the um, administration, under schedules, I've actually defined a schedule already that's called every morning. And if you go into that schedule, you'll see that it's a time triggered event that executes at 3 a.m. daily. So what I can do now with this cube is, well, I'm going to go ahead and schedule the delivery of when I want that refreshed. So the schedule is going to be every morning. 
Um, I want to go ahead and run it now. And then I can name that whatever I want. We're just going to keep the name simple so that we can go back and uh, review it. So we've gone ahead and named that. Now, if you actually look at your um, subscriptions, you'll see there's my subscription that I just put. It's set to refresh the cache of the cube, and it says when the schedule is, so that's every morning. So what we've shown is how to build a cube, how to build a report off of a cube, and how to schedule that cube to be refreshed. Uh, thanks again. This is MicroStrategy Blog. My name's Jeremy. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you.